Washington DC, capital city and the land of the free, and home to some of the iconic monuments in American history, as each year people flock to witness their dramatic splendor. But for the first week in August, there's a chance for visitors to also see some of the world's best tennis players, taking part in the City Open at the William H. G. Fitzgerald Tennis Center. Last year in America's capital, it was all about Canada, as Milos Raonic triumphed over compatriot Vasek Pospisil in the final. Raonic is not back to defend his title. The world number three Andy Murray is back in DC for the first time in nine years. Top seed for the tournament, the Scot has been having a stellar year to date. Second only to Novak Djokovic in wins on the ATP World Tour. And the 28-year-old was happy to be back in Washington. I mean, it's changed a lot since I played here last time. Um, they've made a, a lot of in, improvements to the facility. You know, they have a lot of practice courts, which is always good. Um, it's one of the things that all the players, you know, look for. Um, so it's easy to practice, staying, you know, very nice hotel, which is very nearby to the court, so it's very convenient. And yeah, they normally get very good crowds here as well. So yeah, they have, have a strong field this year and it's, it's going to be a tough event. The City Open is part of the American hardcourt season as the year builds to the US Open later this month. And the runner-up from Flushing Meadow last year, Kane Ishikori, was in action this week in DC. Last year was a little bit surprising to play final, but I had a good uh, experience and confidence is coming up and I had a good preparation, so I hope I can do well in this uh, first round for me. The 2015 edition of the City Open possesses one of the finest fields in the event's 47-year history, with nine of the world's top 20 players in the 48-man draw, including former City Open winners and the reigning US Open champion. Monday's first round action began with a meeting between Australian James Duckworth and American qualifier Brian Harrison. Duckworth flew through the first set, with Harrison struggling to contain the Aussie. After sealing the opener 6-1, Harrison did put up more of a fight in the second set as he broke serve for the first time in the match. A little fist pump at the end. He's needed something to get excited about today, Ryan Harrison. But Duckworth proved too strong on the day to set up a second round meeting with the number two seed, Kane Shikori. James Duckworth produces a straight sets victory. Knocking out American qualifier Ryan Harrison. Also in action on the stadium court was a battle between two of the young guns on the ATP World Tour as Yoshihito Nishioka took on Alexander Zverev. 18 year old Zverev is the youngest player in the draw this week and he began brightly against fellow teenager Nishioka. After securing the first set tiebreak, the young German began to stamp his authority on the match. That's nicely played. It's the right time to surge forward as well and still had a bit to do with that first volley. And in his debut appearance at the City Open, Vera serenely booked a spot in round two with a straight sets victory. In the evening session, there was a return for 2012 City Open finalist Tommy Haas as he squared off against Donald Young. The American, who enjoyed an impressive run to the semi-finals here 12 months ago, started his opening encounter this year looking in fine form. That's nicely done. After Young took the first set in just over half an hour, the American, who's making his fifth appearance at the event, had just too much for his veteran opponent. Oh, my word. That is a different gravy. Young's reward for his straight sets victory is a second round meeting with last year's beaten finalist Vasek Pospisil. And victory has come back to Donald Young yeah. once again. Tomorrow's action will see both number two seed Kane Ishikori and number three seed Marin Cilic begin their campaigns. So be sure to join us at the City Open.